Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker Chanel price increase. Woo! Whoopee! Whoopee! <laughs> Subscribe to my channel before we get to the nitty gritty. Um, push the uh, join button next to the subscription button and get, become a member today. Gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Jacob all spelled together there as well for extra perks. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream several times a week. Come join the fun. Come join the chats. So, you guys. Hi, Code Chatters. Chanel, you know, Bruno told us. Bruno is like, uh, what can I say? Uh, we did not have uh, a price increase uh, in 24 hours. Uh, so we have to have a new price increase today because uh, the last uh, price increase was yesterday. We cannot have such a long time between price increases, uh, you see. We are Chanel, after all. <laughs> allegedly, everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Not rooted in truths or facts. Everything's alleged and just my opinion. Now, lately, Chanel boutiques have been empty. Every time I go to a Chanel boutique, and I have the time of my life now that they're empty, to be perfectly honest with you, because finally my sales associate has the time to dedicate to me. We get to talk about the collections, to experience the collection. I'm loving the fact that Chanel is empty lately. But given the circumstances, why would Bruno push another price increase? Well, he did. He did. And in fact, I was telling you this a couple of weeks ago in a video where we were talking about the interview that Bruno Pavlovsky gave to some magazine uh, stating that he, he believes that the prices of the Chanel bags are not too high. He thinks it's worth it. And he said, you know, uh, we are going to have another price increase uh, end of March, and I was like, want to bet that they're going to make that price increase in Europe coincide with the launch of their Penelope Cruz and Brad Pitt commercial, which I've seen. It is terrible. Okay. Their chemistry between Brad Pitt and Penelope, it's like, Brad, and Brad is freshly lift, allegedly. Looks like he's been plumped. I don't know. Well, we'll go, we'll go. She always looks like she doesn't know where the F she is. So she, you know, Penelope is always like, you know, and, and, and he's trying to flirt with her. There's no chemistry. I'm like, if you're really going to go for this type of advertisement, why didn't you hire her husband, Javier Bardem? Javier Bardem and Penelope Cruz, they at least have chemistry. Anyway, apparently Virginie Via was really into Brad Pitt. Yeah. So, and of course, what did they do? They launched the ad campaign right after the price increase, just as I predicted. And the price increase this time around was not like 20%, 22%. All of their bags that are classics went up in price, not the seasonal ones. Isn't that interesting? So they're kind of, they really want to, they want those price increases to happen. Chanel really wants, they're, they're begging the world to get, extra money from those price increases, but they know they can't push it because people are not buying any way at all. Let me cue in a pitch up that I took from the Chanel boutique just a short while ago. You can also find these pictures on my Jacob CC, all spelled together, Instagram account, where you get to see all these little behind the scenes and special pitches that I take. Uh, it's my fan account of Chanel, not in any way, shape or form affiliated with them. This is a 255 Mini, okay, uh, with this kind of metallic pearlescent finish. <clears throat> this is a classic, went up in price. Now, there was a time, so the Minis were released, the Mini 255s were released uh, for the Metier da 2019 collection, Paris, New York slash Egypt. And that was the first time I actually bought the first one that was released at 31 Rue Cambon. I remember it vividly. Love that bag to bits. It was not on the sales floor. It was a classic bag. So it was in there on their shelves, hidden behind that opening door that they do, that they open when they show you all the bags. Um, now... Now the 255 Minis are hanging all over the boutique. They're not hidden anywhere. They are, this one was, you see, this one was on the mannequin, just normally. Uh, you could just walk to it, touch it, take photos. And uh, 
So I checked because I knew the price increase was coming. So I checked like worldwide all the prices. So in France, this was 4,700 euro. Now, when I bought mine in France in 2019, on the 4th of June, 2019, I remember the day exactly, it was my pilgrimage to 31 Rue Cambon. Uh, this bag cost, I got the black version with the glossy because they're the first edition of the 255. They made the gold hardware glossy just like Coco's own 255 was. So that was a cool little callback. 2,850. 2019, 2,800. That was the first price the leather 255 mini ever had, 2,850. Now it's 4,700. Now the price went up two days ago. Uh, the price went up, and now this one is 4,950. So it's right about 5K. Just, yeah, almost 5,000. So that is a, I checked, that is a 5% price increase. Okay, so their classics have received round about a 5% price increase. The maxi is now over 11,000. Um, they discontinued, apparently, the Maxi 255 reissue. Now you only have two sizes, the classic size, and they call it the large, but I call it the jumbo, just because the jumbo 255 is the same price as the jumbo timeless classic double flap. This is a single flap bag. This is a tiny bag, you guys, you know. 4,950 euro. And you might think, well... It has a little Chanel kind of name underneath there, underneath the turn lock, right? But it doesn't have a double C visible anywhere. So people, if they're going to spend a lot of money, they're going to want to buy the double C version. Well, let me show you the next picture. On the next picture, you get to see the more requested and, and sought after uh, mini rectangular timeless classic in a very interesting raspberry red with gold hardware. Really beautiful. In real life, much better than on the photo that I took. This is a photo that I took. You can also find this picture on my Dacob CC Insta, all spelled together, Dacob CC. Um, now, we all know, just a couple of years ago, the minis, square and rectangular, both, impossible to find. These were the unicorns of every season, of every collection, and you would never... See Chanel put the mini rectangular flaps on the sales floor. This one was literally on this shelf on the sales floor. Just chilling there. Nobody was touching it. Nobody was buying it. And I took a photo of this the day before the price increase. So people kind of knew price increase was coming. Still, nobody was rushing into the store to buy like crazy before the price increase. And still Chanel increased the prices. So now this thing in France is 4,950 euro. It used to be 4,700. Another thing I noted when we're talking about the issues that I've been having with their leather for the first time ever, this is, and this is, this has nothing to do with COVID, okay, you guys, because I've been talking to other people as well. It was, it's not just me not smelling stuff. I have a very good sense of smell. Their leather has no smell anymore. Nothing, nothing, not even the chemical used to paint the leather, like to get the red color, nothing. I could not smell the chemical, the red dye. I could not smell the leather. It was completely odorless. Odorless. Same with the other bag. And then I also smelled the 22. I'm like, what are they doing? What, what, what's going on with this leather at this point that it doesn't have any smell at all? They have neutralized the smell completely. Isn't, isn't that bizarre? But you see, we have come to the point, and I was, my prediction a couple of years ago, really, when, before the lockdowns, before, because Chanel has had their price increases going for years, 
their first big, big, big jump price increase was in 2015. That was the first time that they did their 15 to 20 percent increase. It was insane. It was insane that price increase, where the timeless classics jumped from 3k to 4, 5k, and everybody was shocked. And I made a video back then saying, "Well, before you know it, they're going to be 10." 15k and that's where we're at right now the timeless classic double flap is ten thousand dollars the jumbo is 11 the maxi is 12. i mean it's insane and nobody's buying anymore and and yet they still keep increasing the prices and I'm like, well, why are you still increasing the prices? They're, nobody's buying. I mean, sure, there's a couple of people who are buying, you know. Everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only, not rooted in truths or facts. Everything's alleged and just my opinion. But I've been in the past years, I'm a regular client of Chanel since decades. I, it, it was always full. Always full. Now, since almost a year, not anymore. There's no queue in front of the store, the boutique to get in. You look inside, the sales associates are kind of hanging around though. Those, those little tables that they have, you know, the little vitrines where they show you the, the costume jewelry or the wallets. They're like kind of like on their phones. Empty. But hey, let's let's you know, let's put another price increase. Why not? Why not? I think uh, Chanel is in for a bumpy ride because their prices are higher than Hermes. I don't know what to tell you. What do you guys think? Are you going to still... I mean, you know, usually in the past, our price increase videos were way more... Oh my God, another price increase. The price increase videos were more about, oh my God, let's go into detail. Like, what is this? What is that? From this price to that price, from this price. So the bags that went up in price are uh, the Timeless Classics, the 255, the number 19 bags, the Coco Handle bags, and um, the Boy bags. Like, all the classics went up in price. Um, so... And I had a really heartwarming conversation with my sales associate. She's a wonderful human being, has a lot of empathy. And she said to me that it's really sad because, I mean, she's been working for long, over 10 years uh, at Chanel, right? And she says it's really sad because most people that come in to Chanel nowadays and look at these bags, they will never in their life be able to afford one. And she said that was not the case, you know, 10 years ago. Yes, these bags were still very expensive, but, you know, $2,000, $3,000, a lot of money. But if somebody really, really saves up a long time and really saves up, they can reach that amount sooner or later. But $11,000, that's a whole other pot to crack, you know. And yeah, and she was sad. She's like, you know, some of these objects are really beautiful objects and it's lovely to see people happy when they purchase them. You know, it's a beautiful thing. It makes them happy. But now it made everybody bitter. Nobody can afford it. She said even she can't afford it anymore, even with her staff discount. I mean, you guys, you have to realize something. You have to realize something. I mean, you know, luxury jobs uh, for sales associates, they pay well. You know, it, we're not talking minimum wage here, okay? We're not talking minimum wage. But still, still, it has come to the point where now just one timeless classic double flap bag, like jumbo size, is way more than a month's salary of the sales associate who is working at Chanel. You see how the, in the past, their salaries met the price of the bag. I mean, you know, after one month of work, somebody who's working full time in luxury and gets all the commission after the end of the month with their salary, they could afford a Chanel bag. Not anymore. Not anymore. So now that the sales associates also are, are starting to say like, well, 
yeah, I, I can't afford this even for myself anymore. There's a sadness about all of this because, I mean, it's one thing. It's one thing, you guys, to be, you know, prestige and these brands want to be elite and they want to be, you know, unattainable. And I mean, aspirational and they want you to like dream about it for, you know, save up the money for two years and then buy the bag. Like, okay, that's one thing. But it's a whole other thing to to say, no, nobody will be able to afford this except the really, really 1% of the rich. And it's... It's ugly. It's ugly because these pieces are are really beautiful and 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 fun and they should not be available only to a few. I don't think they should. I don't think they should. I think everybody if they wanted to should be able to afford, you know? Okay, fine. You don't need to afford 10 of them. You afford one. But it's the bag that you love. You love it till, you know, your whole life you enjoy it. There's something so beautiful about it. There's no need to buy 10. Like, there is no need, you know. What you need and what you want are two different things. But for me, like, when she came to me to say, like, it's kind of sad. And also to see, like, younger kids come in that, that don't have that amount of money and they, they love to, to see the boutique, you know, and then they try to, you know, take a picture or something in the past, you know, the, the sales staff would be very strict, no photos. But now they're kind of, they're also thinking to themselves, yeah, but these kids, they can't afford this stuff. Let them go into the dressing room to take a photo of them wearing it, at least something, a little bit of the dream. It's so sad. It's come to this, you guys. This is a revolution. When the sales associates are also helping the aspirational client, knowing that you can't afford the total look anyway, let the kid take a photo. Let the kid enjoy at least dream in a photo. Oh, Debbie says, yeah, the kids are clever. They take a photo in the boutique of the authentic one, and then they buy the replica later. And But they're like, look, I have, a, <laughs> I have a photo of me with the original one in the boutique, so it's proof that mine is original. Uh, you can't get away with that because uh, a good trained eye can see when, when something is off, you know? So, yeah. Kind of sad. Anyway. And then there was another instance. Oh, yeah. Heaven says their their plan backfired. Uh, there was another instance where, um, and I told you this story a couple of uh, months ago, but uh, another sales associate told me that there was this lady came super, super excited. She was saving up for years for a Chanel bag. And she came to the boutique and she had the money ready. And bless her heart, she was saving the amount from two years ago. And then they had to tell her, like, sorry, madame, but um, the prices are now, like, double. <laughs> she was so sad. She was devastated. But she left empty-handed. You know. But but it's interesting. Like, the sales associates are also starting to feel this, you know. There, there's less of that arrogance that, that a lot of people were reporting about, you know. Oh, well, you know, Chanel can sell whatever. Everybody's buying it anyway, so the sales associates can also, they can afford to be snobby because they know that you're going to try to do anything to get the piece. Now the tide has turned. And they, they can't afford to be snobby anymore. They just can't, you know? But it's not just that they're not snobby anymore. Like, they're sad. A lot of the people I spoke to that work there, they're just like, yeah, it's kind of... The quality isn't like it used to be. The prices are insane. Barely anybody can afford anything. It's like empty boutiques. They wanted it. Well, they got it. Oh, how lovely, Bruno. I hope you're proud of yourself. And uh, the other lady that became the boss boss, whatever her name is. Uh, I hope you're all patting yourselves on the backs, really enjoying this and saying you really did something there. More power to you. 
Wishing you all the best, Bruno and co. And uh, you guys, let me know your thoughts down below. That has been our yearly price increase, our March Chanel price increase. whoop de doo <laughs> Yeehaw, looking forward to that 15K price tag coming soon. Until then, thumb up the video if you've liked it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And uh, never give up on love. Subscribe. Bye. Mwah.